Hi Pisces, I hope this day finds you well. These are your energies for the next 24 hours. Um, it feels like it kind of like a continuation of yesterday, but in a much better space. You know, I feel like you, uh, for some of you, you were letting go of, of someone from the past um, who, or, you know, may have been dealing with a narcissist. So check it out. Check it out. And it definitely was someone from your past you might have decided to give another chance to, um, to only kind of see that you know what no this wasn't good for me then it's not good for me now but it was teaching you something um sometimes we do that you know especially during retrogrades this is a pisces channel my name is heidi um and if you're looking for personal readings check out the link in the description i do a lot of readings a lot of daily readings so we do daily energy so this you know these could be the energies coming in it doesn't necessarily mean that this specifically is going to happen today. It could happen any day because time is fluid. We usually use timing for you guys, <laughs> you know, but this, I kind of feel like this is where you're at. I, I feel like you, I feel like this was a turning point for you. You know, you, you could have went back to something because it was comfortable for you to only find out, you know what? No, no, this, this really isn't comfortable for me. And is really moving you into a much better space though you know because i feel like the energy pisces is a natural empath um meaning their tendency to do things for other people is strong and not just like um you know because i know a lot of people say that pisces is selfish um but i don't agree i feel like they feel so much so they will always feel the need to retreat, but I feel like they do a lot for people. You do a lot for other people, but not just like doing it, but like doing things to please other people, whether that's, you know, Pisces tends to, yes, indeed, care about what other people think. Um, and once you get to, and, and Pisces is one of those signs. There are a few that like are very different and self-acceptance and can be really tough. Like there is kind of at times a sense of needing other people's approval and that isn't immature and that isn't wrong. We all want to feel accepted by our environment and that's the problem with Pisces is that they don't. I feel like Pisces, Aquarius and Sagittarius have that in common. But, I mean, you can let me know in the comments if you resonate with that. But Pisces is very much moving into this energy of I'm doing this for me. This is for me. I'm doing this for me. And I feel like even going back to that past situation was kind of showing you what you needed to do for yourself. Right down to a positive mindset. You know? Um, yeah. So... Wisdom is here, resolve, meditation, and ascension. I feel like you're you're done with that for sure. I mean, and you I also feel like you're glad for the lesson because it's really like you may be really going within, like really kind of isolating yourself in a way. Um, because I was seeing meditation upright and I was seeing it reverse too. So it, it's kind of that energy of that's moving past. Like you, you do want to get back out there, right? But what you're in your mind space and your heart space, you're just resolving the lesson here. You're, you're taking the lesson of the past. And it's helping you to figure out what's next, right? And this was real big growth. This was an awakening for you. It, and it is an awakening to moving forward, Pisces. I love this for you. And so, like, truthfully, the reason you went back to the past was not toxic. It actually wasn't. It was clearing some things up for you. It was, it was showing you solutions for your future. And basically, sometimes that happens through, no, you know, I'm done with this. I'm not the same person. And that's what you needed to see it, Pisces. I don't think that you would have believed it otherwise. So I feel like that's why you did it. I do. 
under the deck is the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles do you if you want to know the truth i even saw it yesterday the universe brought this to you they brought it for you you know to show you how much you've changed so you, you would keep walking through the door towards new things and understand i feel like the universe has really been serving up this lesson for you pisces is that you have indeed grown you have changed you're not the person that you were and i think that certain events have taken place just to show you that i do it wasn't to hurt you sometimes it seems like that but no because they wanted you to see how much you've changed so that you could see what doors were opening for you okay and so you know <laughs> to not be afraid of that door and what's interesting about this card i will tell you is that it it kind of looks like two ace of wands to me <laughs> so definitely you know maybe you have been afraid to approach the door but you're you're getting it now you're getting it now pisces and i love it i love it because the queen of swords was clarifying you know uh wisdom which it's really kind of shown you how how especially with the ace of cups like most of the time pisces i'm not saying they're not logical they're very logical they're very smart but you tend to lead from the heart space and so now what's happening and it's why your new beginning hasn't come in yet um because you needed to find that balance you needed to have the balance between yes keeping my heart open but make it make sense okay like i'm not going to just go forth into something because i love it or because it feels good it's it's got to make sense to you now you know and you're you need to have all the information and that's what's happening this is really really and i feel i hope it's not too similar to yesterday's reading but i i kind of feel it's like every day gets you a little bit further right and so you start to understand what the delay has been you know the three of wands is getting everything you want but there, you had to balance things out there was there was karma here that needed to be balanced first and remember karma is not good or bad it just is so you know we don't get like contrary to belief i mean I know there are those who believe that there's good karma and there's bad karma based on what we do. But, you know, we can change that at any point. And so this is just about balancing the scales, you know. Um, and, and, and I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're starting to see something about your decisions. You know, I feel like you're, you're finding balance within you. And this is what you're taking with you. And this was the delay. It needed to happen. Okay? It needed to happen. Okay? It's not about someone doing you wrong. It's not about that at all. You know? Um, but I do feel like you're starting to see the narcissist in your life. Um, you know, the people who are in your life who just take from you. And that's always a good thing pisces to be honest so let's get on with <coughs> the events of the day which are interesting and totally different so you are in this forward thinking kind of mode this is your energy so that it, that does attract attention okay and i feel like with the six of wands you are like in this mode of moving forward you're magnetic you may be attracting people who also want to move forward. And, and it does seem like you are attracting a lot of people. Um, because the Six of Wands is here with the Four of Wands. You know, like, you are attracting people. And probably there are people who want to be involved with you, Pisces. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you know, it could be that these people want to be involved with you in relationships. It could be that now that you're in this mode, your relationships are changing and evolving. But there is a sense that everything's starting to go your way. You, you may also really feel as if the attention you're getting is good attention. 
except Pisces, you're not getting attention from the person you want it from. <laughs> I heard that loud and clear, Pisces. Um, and I don't know why exactly. Because the Four of Cups is here with the Seven of Wands. I feel like you... I mean, because you are, you have been in a transformation. I don't know if you were involved with someone at the time in which all of this was going on. or But I do see clearly that while you are getting attention, and, and it does feel good, it doesn't, it's not coming from the person you want it from. Four of Cups with the Seven of Wands, like you feel actually like they are blocking you um or they are blocked from you or it's kind of like the person that you really want the attention from it's not it's not coming and i do feel as if you're disappointed about that i do i do and you know and i feel like you it, maybe it is also to Pisces is that you're used to getting attention. Pisces does get attention. They get a lot of attention, right? People are very drawn to your energy, your loving energy specifically. And Pisces are the, the performers, you know? I know everyone says that about Leo, but Pisces actually has the most artistic, romantic energy. And so that does draw attention. I just feel like... I feel, I feel like you're happy to be moving forward, but at the same time, there's something here. I feel like you want attention from a, a certain person and you're not getting it. And maybe you expected this person to notice the changes that you've been making, uh, the way that, you know, even because you're really changing how you move. And yeah, I don't know why. It's, it's all it's like very resistant it's very guarded um i feel i feel your disappointment i feel you thinking about it a lot um because here you are in your energy your advice though is the high priestess and the ace of swords you may be keeping your feelings to yourself pisces and it's time for you to stop doing that it's time for you to tell this person how you feel Uh, the and you know like they're telling you to have an honest conversation with this person about what you've been doing like maybe why you haven't been you know maybe they stopped paying attention to you because you stopped paying attention to them you know and I feel but it hasn't been because you don't want to talk to them like it's really just been because you've been working on this Right? You've been working on this transformation, on this leaving the past behind, all of these things. and But I feel like this person doesn't know that. All they see is that you haven't been paying attention to them. And so now they're guarded. They're disappointed the same way you are. I feel like this is both of you. Right? It's like, where's this resistance coming from? I don't know, but... You know, um, the universe is telling you, you may have to start this conversation, Pisces. Because this is stuff that you've been going through. Right? But I don't think that this person totally knows. And, you know, you've been busy, like, walking away from things that don't serve you anymore because you really want to be stable. You really want to be better. Right? And with the king of pentacles here you know that's what you've been focused on and i don't really think it has anything to do with this person um page of wands nine of swords seven of pentacles i feel like this person is waiting i feel like they're waiting for you to do something i feel like they're waiting for you to talk interesting interesting so that's what the universe is telling you Pisces you know uh, it is your 
inclin it is your usual way to, you know, let other people do it. You know, maybe you're not one who is like aggressive or or you know messages first or whatever but i feel like you're both waiting to talk and i feel like you feel i feel like you don't because you feel the resistance from this person but the resistance is coming from the fact that they haven't heard from you so now they feel like they have to protect themselves you know specifically probably their heart you know so, you know, hello, Mercury retrograde and all of its misunderstandings. <laughs> and I think that's all it is, Pisces, to be honest with you. So let's get you a mindful message for the day. A mindful message. for Pisces. What is the mindful message for Pisces today? What is the mind? Oh, there we go. Present. In this present moment, I have nothing to worry about. I take life step by step as I follow my desires and intuition, joyfully overcoming any bumps along the way. You're doing great, Pisces. And it's really talking about, you know, be sure to stay in the present moment. All right. So let's get your rebel message. What is your advice for Pisces for the next 24 hours? Pisces. Yeah, and I just was kind of feeling like this person may have even given up on talking. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. What is the good word for Pisces today? The good word for Pisces. It's dark and you can't see a effing thing. <laughs> uh, get your head out of your ass pronto. Mm. That's about you not doing anything. I feel like the universe is telling you again. And to stop wasting your time on people who stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So I don't know, maybe you've been paying attention to other people to not think about that person who isn't communicating with you, you know, um, and they're telling you to stop doing that. I don't know. You know? Maybe it's just time for action. And with the new moon in Leo coming, you know, we're all going to be taking action <laughs> in a passionate way. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Toodles.